through ZANU-PF vice presidents following appointments announced by the party's first secretary and president, Comrade Robert Mugabe, today. President Mugabe also announced a 33-member Politburo. Our diplomatic correspondent, Judith Makwanya, reports. Comrade Emerson Minangakwa is in line to become the country's first vice president, while Comrade Pelekezela Mpoko will become the second vice president after the two landed the ruling party's presidium post. At the top of the presidium is the president, Comrade Robert Mugabe, deputized by the two who will take up the party's chairmanship on a rotational basis. Don't, please don't be victim, easy victim to those who want power and who want to subvert the organization. This is how some of our comrades fail. Very easily, you just throw grains here and you have your trap, you easily I'm referring to our present problem. My Juru Wakawanda Wakangawa Wanyepewa, right? Who win over? Wamakazona Mam Suri. Wangwaka Pavinda Hook, you know, the she hook, and I've never been a fisherman, but when <laughs> I used to catch just the little fish. Yeah, hook, line, and sinker. Hook, line, and sinker. Yeah, that's how, and, and they went. They went, and that's. Vami, Kanaimi, Varifo Maita, ah, oh, no, no, we don't want, we resisted to Jizwabuti, no. Perhaps the, they didn't know any, any better. You see, it was all oh, terrible, 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 terrible. I didn't know she was like that. Heads of departments have also been announced. The Secretary for Administration, Comrade Ignatius Chombo, who replaces Comrade Titina Sumtasa, Secretary for Finance, Comrade Obet Mpofu, Secretary for Commissariat, Comrade Sevia Kasukuere. The new Secretary for External Relations in the Political is Comrade Simbarashe Mumbegekwi, while the Secretary for Security is Comrade Kembo Mohadi. Transport and Social Welfare Secretary is Comrade Opaji Pankem Chinguri, who replaces Comrade Tokos Lematutu. Former National Chairman Comrade Simon Kayamoyo, who was acting Secretary for Information after Rugaret Kumbo was expelled, has now taken over the post on a substantive basis. The new Secretary for Legal Affairs is Comrade Patrick Chinamasa, who replaces Comrade Munangakwa, who has been elevated, while Comrade Mike Bima has joined the party organ as Secretary for Empowerment and Indigenization. Comrade Josiah Hongwe has returned to the Politburo in a new capacity as Secretary for Labor and Production, replacing Comrade Tikamai Mafaire, while Christopher Mushowe has joined as Secretary for Economic Affairs. Comrade Cliveria Chisema has been given the post of Secretary for Health and Child Care, replacing Dr. David Parenya Twa. Amai Dr. Grace Mugabe is Secretary for Women's Affairs, and Comrade Pupuraito Garepi is Secretary for Youth League. Comrade Joram Gumbo has bounced into the Politburo as Secretary for Education, while Comrade Tokos Lematutu is the new Secretary for Gender. Comrade Joshua Malinga retained his portfolio of Secretary for Disabled and Disadvantaged. The ruling party concluded the proceedings of the 6th National People's Congress by putting together a central committee as well as the Politburo. The Politburo has been reduced from 64 to only 33, thereby making the party organ more effective and efficient. Judith Makwanya, ZPC News, Zanupi Headquarters, Harare. 
Various party cadres say they are still in shock after the ill treatment they got under the leadership of the disgraced Mujuru faction. Speaking at today's meeting when a new Politburo and Presidium were announced, some said Dr. Grace Mugabe exposed many things they did not know about Comrade Mujuru. This business took center stage at the ZANU PF inaugural meeting of the Central Committee in the capital. The just ended ZANU PF 6th National People's Congress ended in the capital last Saturday, the 6th of December 2014, and the various resolutions beginning with the state of the party and the way forward. Salute the people of the party for their steadfast loyalty and unwavering support to the party and their commitment to the principles and values of the National Liberation War through their overwhelming electoral support to the party and its president, Komunara Jim Further salutes the First Lady, uh, Comrade Dr. Grace Mugabe, for her bold, forthright and refreshing candor in timely exposing the rot that had set in the party and the national body politic as a result of the corrupt and treacherous actions of Vice President Juru and the air cabal of counter-revolutionaries and prisoners. On the state of the economy, the Congress resolved that the government embarks on developing and implementing mechanism for unlocking the value that is abundant in both natural and human assets. Committed to promoting and achieving policy clarity and coherence, as well as the necessary policy interface between development partners, including the private sector, to ensure food security and uh, nutrition as a strategic national goal. Recognizing the need to promote and develop a food security and nutrition strategy that balances crop and livestock production in accordance with relevant agriculture, agroecological regions. <laughs> On food security and nutrition, the Congress resolved to develop robust and innovative strategies to adequately fin finance policy on food security and nutrition. Acknowledges the concerted efforts by and initiatives of the parties of the government under the asset policy economic blueprint to turn around the economy in the face of illegal sanctions, constrain physical space Praise economic performance, disproportionately high wage bill, the continuing liquidity challenge, poor state of public infrastructure, constrained investment and revenue inflows, the average of state enterprises, the scale of rampant corruption and gross violations of good corporate governance in the both private and the public enterprises. The Congress, in conclusion, is grateful to Zimbabwe Security Services for continued vigilance, peace, security and tranquility prevailing in the country. The Congress was also grateful to solidarity of comradeship extended to Zimbabwe by sister parties, SADC, African Union, Non-Aligned Movement, and progressive regions, countries, and organizations throughout the world. Ruben Barwe, ZBC News, Harare. Uh, the newly appointed vice president of the ZANU-PF party, Comrade Emerson Munangagwa, delivering a report on ZANU-PF's readiness to deliver more to the electorate following the ejection of undesirable elements uh, from the party and the appointment of a new presidium and politburo by the president, Comrade Robert Mugabe, today. We'll give you details on that report where various party cadres expressed the shock after the ill treatment they got from uh, the leadership of the disgraced Mujuru faction and they were speaking today uh, at their meeting when a new Politburo and Presidium were announced. We'll take a break. Join us after these messages.